Well, a lot of those cereals are loaded with sugars, meaning they're off limits to diabetics. Current methods of managing diabetes are clearly not working too well. Millions are developing and dying from the disease each year. Now, some San Antonio clinics are testing new ways to manage diabetes. Ken's Five's Wendy Rigby has that story all new tonight. I'm going to take your blood pressure. All right. This is what you think of when you talk about diabetes management, regular checks at the doctor's office, and medications to help control the disease. Okay. There you go. When you go to a doctor, you know, you really don't, a lot of it doesn't stay with you. I mean, I, I get nervous even now coming to my doctor. We deal with the, the physical realm, and uh, we don't have a lot of time in our clinic environment to deal with the social and emotional impacts of chronic disease. So the question is, you know, which are the fats? Now, Anita right. Acosta and so, dozens of other San Antonians are helping test an innovative approach to managing their disease. It's a peer mentoring program called Care Companions. Hi, you want to work with Julia? Thirteen well-med clinics are spending a quarter of a million dollars in grant money over the next three years to train 300 diabetics. These volunteers will help others just like them. Yvonne Garza is Anita's partner. Well, she makes me feel like it's okay to mess up. Not like a doctor where they're on you all the time and telling you don't do this and don't do that. To where if I tell her, oh, well, I had a candy bar this weekend, and she's like, that's okay. It happens. The classroom lessons use lots of visuals to emphasize the need to control fat and sugar intake. How many teaspoons of fat were in that meal that you had? Dishing out lard and sugar cubes equal to the meals they might eat is a sobering exercise. So is handling the equivalent of five pounds of body fat. Partners share their victories and defeats and keep each other accountable with journals and test results. Both parties seem to benefit. Now I can do it for myself. Not everything, but a good part of it I can do for myself. And I'm happy with that. But you don't feel so overwhelmed by, by the disease and, and everything because you know you're not the only one out there. The American Academy of Family Physicians Foundation and Eli Lilly are funding this research project. Bear County is a natural testing ground since our rate of diabetes here is almost double the national average. WellMed is hopeful peer mentoring will be an effective weapon in this ongoing health battle. Wendy Rigby, Ken's Five, Eyewitness.